OK, well I'm going to talk about Audacity tonight and I'm going to particularly talk about using it when you're doing storytelling work when the children are recording their stories. I just want to show you a few things that we do that make a difference to your recorded work. So I've got a little version here of the three billy goats gruff that I've recorded myself. The three billy goats gruff. Once upon a time there was not one, not two, but three billy goats gruff who lived Okay, so you get the idea. It's just a plain reading, and I've read it really quite simply in a monotone. Now you can see on my sound waves here that I'm peeking out and touching the edges on some of them. So to rectify that, I'm going to press Control and A to highlight the whole track, and then I'm going to go to Effect. I'm going to choose Normalize. I'm going to make sure these boxes are both ticked. And press OK, and this will even it out a bit and stop it peeking out so much. So now that's done. I'm going to look for any errors in my speech. Now, this can be a little bit tricky, but if you see these little lines like that, that's generally somewhere where you've licked your lips or smacked your lips together or made a noise against your teeth. I'll just play one for you so you can hear it. So I can hear there I sort of lick my lips. So I can highlight those and get rid of them. Okay, there's another little one there. And I'm going to get rid of that as well. So there's little mistakes that you can scan for them. And once you've done it a few times you'll recognise them. And you can just get rid of them. Now, what I want to do with this story is I want to change the voices on the story so that the different characters have different voices and I know first off that the troll speaks at around this portion so let me check that I'm right here who goes trip trap trip trap over my bridge said the troll okay so just about there I think let's listen to that again who goes trip trap trip trap over my bridge that's the bit I want. Now, the troll still sounds like me and I want to change it so I'm going to generate that with an effect. And I'm going to go to change the pitch because I don't want to change the speed that he speaks but I do want to give him a lower voice. So I'm going to change the pitch and at the moment, and this is the bit where it helps to have a little bit of musical knowledge to do it this way, although you can change it by a percentage. At the moment, it's at A flat and I want it to go down, not up. And I want it to go down. Oh, we'll try a D. We'll preview it first to see what that sounds like. Who goes trip trap, trip trap over my bread? That's pretty troll like, I think. So I'll go with that. And now my troll sounds like this. Who goes trip trap, trip trap over my bridge? said the troll. Pleased with that. Well, I know that. On this bit here, should be the baby billy goat gruff speaking. Let me just check. It is I, baby billy goat gruff. And I want that to be much higher and much cuter sounding. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to my effect and I'm going to change the pitch. And this time I'm going to make it go up. And at the moment it's on an E. I don't want it to go up loads. So let's try... That. It is I, Baby Billy Goat Gruff. Yeah, that's quite nice. Maybe a little bit more. Let's have a see what it's like a bit higher. It is I, Baby Billy Goat Gruff. So I quite like that. And I'm going to put that one on it. So just by changing the pitch of things, you immediately give the characters different voices. Now that's not a huge thing, I know, if we just play it back from... Maybe here when you hear me doing the narration. First, baby Billy Grope Gruff went trip trap, trip trap over the bridge. Who goes trip trap, trip trap over my bridge? said the troll. It is I, baby Billy Goat Gruff. But it's enough of a difference to sort of just make it a little bit more fun. Another thing I want to do is I want to add in some little sound effects. Okay? So this bit here, trip trap over the bridge. 
I want to put a sort of trip trap and noise in there. So what I've done is I've downloaded a uh, footstep sound effect from the internet in a WAV format and I'm going to open a new Audacity page and I'm going to open the one that I want and I've got a folder here somewhere that says Billy Goat's Gruff there it is and I've got a few different footsteps I'm going to try this one with the wooden stairs first let me see what that's like that's quite nice but it's quite long so I'm going to cut a bit of that out so I'm going to drag it from there and I'm just going to get rid of that so I've got now this sound effect that sounds okay so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go back to my original recording and I'm going to put it in just here where I know I finished speaking and before the troll says this bit so I'm going to paste that in there so now we've got this up over the bridge. Who goes trip trap, trip trap over my bridge? So that's not bad. There's a lot of dead space there that I'll just highlight and get rid of. And I also think that maybe the goat would move a little bit faster. So I'm going to highlight those steps and I'm going to go back to the effect and I'm going to change the speed of them. Now look at this. Those of us who remember the old sort of record plays with vinyl, this is the way to speed it up. That sounds okay. So on this one it's going from 33 and a third RPM to 45. That brings me back a bit. Anyway, I've speeded that up. And now I've got my narration, the bridge. Who goes trip trap, trip trap over my bridge? Said the troll. And the sound effect. It is I, Baby Billy Goat Gruff. And it's just a simple way to make your stories more interesting. And hopefully, with a bit of practice, your children will be able to produce something like this. One Snowy Night by Nick Butterworth. It's cold in the park in winter, but Percy the park keeper doesn't mind. He puts on his warm coat and his big scarf and wears two pairs of woolly socks Bye. inside his well.